Humans and horses have a truly remarkable connection that spans thousands of years. In today's video, we will figure out when and how horses entered in the human society by exploring ancient ruins. In ancient human society, the way humans interacted with horses was different from that of today. At that time, humans regarded horse as a source of food. The oldest fossil record of human interaction with horses was discovered from the Ice Age at a site called Boxgrove in modern-day Sussex, England. Dating back to about 500,000 years ago, this site may be the place where humans first domesticated horses. Perhaps they were not humans, but Homo heidelbergensis, a species assumed as the ancestors of modern humans and Neanderthals. This species represented the first early human species that lived in the UK. A fragment of a horse shoulder blade discovered by a team led by Dr. Mark Roberts contains a semicircular wound made by a weapon such as a spear. This discovery indicates that the horse was killed by early humans. The team also discovered other horse bones from the same site with butchery marks from stone tools. Dr. Matthew Pope, an archaeologist from UCL's Institute of Archaeology, who led the recent digs at the Boxgrove site, says that his team has unearthed horse bone tools, the earliest indication of bone tool making ever discovered in Europe archaeology. According to the researchers, this suggests that the prehistoric people executed an act of butchery at the site and probably more than eight individuals congregated to prepare big flint knives for the task. From this, we can infer that hunting wild horses was not very difficult for these ancient people. Another strong evidence was found on the limestone ridges of central and southern France, where some of the oldest traces of human culture in Europe dating back tens of thousands of years were found. The Roche de Solutre is one of the most compelling locations, where thousands of horse bones have all been found, along with stone spear points and butchery tools. Archaeologists believe that generations of Ice Age hunters came to this spot to trap and kill horses over the course of more than 20,000 years. Based on the quantity of bones discovered at Solutre, researchers estimate that between 30,000 and 100,000 horses were slain there. But surprisingly, the hunters may have not eaten much of the meat. Very few of the bones have the cut marks typically found on butchered animals. Perhaps the carcasses were simply too large to be fully used, and they were left to rot after the best parts were consumed. It is clear that horses have been regarded as one of the important sources of meat along with bison, deer, and goats. In the following Paleolithic age, images of horse frequently appear in cave art, indicating that horses are meaningful in multiple aspects of the historical human society. Evidence from cave art indicates that Paleolithic human communities were absolutely obsessed with these animals. A study published in 2019 analyzed the presence of particular creatures in more than 4,700 instances of animal depictions in rock art from across Europe between 30,000 to 12,000 years ago. Incredibly, horses account for approximately 30% of the species in this database, and over three quarters of all the rock art sites in the study feature at least one horse illustration. The most typical example is the Lascaux cave paintings of 1500 BC which proved to be one of the most extensive and complete examples of Paleolithic art in Europe. Some 6,000 animal images were identified, including bucks, ibex, bison, bears, birds, and even rhinos. But among them, horses are by far the most common presence. What's most striking is that the horses were portrayed intimate, affectionate, and familiar. With their stocky frame, short legs, and spiky mane, they look quite similar to Prowalski's horse which still can be found in Mongolia today. Though they are portrayed in a variety of hues and patterns, most appear in their mating coats with dun-colored hair and occasionally a pale or dappled underbelly. Some are standing while some are walking. More often than not, they are galloping, racing across the grasslands of prehistoric France or fleeing an unseen threat. Why were the Lascaux painters so obsessed with them? To answer this question, we first have to know what purpose Paleolithic cave paintings were meant to serve. Experts guess that these paintings serve some ritualistic or magical purposes, as they are located far from the cave openings where everyday life took place. 
A pioneer scholar of Paleoithic art, Abbe Henri Brioul, argued that an image was the animal it represented, to such an extent that whatever happened on a cave wall would magically happen in real life. This was particularly true of the Lascaux horses. By painting pictures of horses being pierced by spears, Brioul claimed the artists were ensuring the success of the next hunt, and it showed them in great herds, often in their mating coats. The hunters were wishing there to be a plentiful supply of potential prey. Paleolithic human obsession with horse art is not only reflected in cave painting, but also in the carving. The wild horse of the Vogelgard cave, which was discovered in Germany and carved from a mammoth ivory, is the earliest sculpture of a horse. It is exceptionally accurate in shape, perfect in form, and remarkably expressive. This is a work of art currently collected in the National Archaeological Museum of St. German en Laye in Paris. In 1886, people found this object carved from mammoth ivory in the Les El Pajou's cave in France. It reflects a very high artistic skill. It is considered to be some form of symbolic behavior. There are even large number of unearthed artworks of horses with a hole, which were considered to be the earliest example of Eurasia humans decorating jewelry. From the birth of such artworks, we can tell that the Paleolithic wild horses had a considerable influence on the people living at that time. Human beings not only viewed horses as a food source, but also clearly showed an admiration for this animal. This indicates that the human beings at the time had begun to engage in religious or spiritual activities, making an important sign of the beginning of human civilization. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. We are committed to helping people know more about the world by sharing knowledge of the horse and history. Check out today's homework. To learn about more famous cave paintings all over the world and try to find out different significance for horse paintings in different cultures, share your idea in the comments and see you in the next one.